hey guys welcome back in this particular video i will be discussing about the different hosting options available within cloud hub so this is a introduction round of a uh, video in which we will be discussing uh, about the different uh, categorization of uh, control plane and runtime plane features so in very generic terms in very uh, simple terms all of the offering which is being offered by MuleSoft can be broadly classified into two categories control plane offerings and runtime plane offerings runtime plane offering involves runtime engine services and any application which are being deployed on top of it control plane as the name suggests control you you can control most of the things from here it will include any point management center it is having design center with through which you can create the uh, rambles specifications basic flows and any point exchange which is a uh, public repository or your organization wide repository in which you can publish the assets and uh, any sort of asset basically right so in short control plane is basically the components uh, of uh, uh, platform architecture which enables to design deploy manage apis and mule applications it contains like design center management center and any point exchange runtime plane it is basically uh, it is the architecture to which apis and mule apps are being deployed and it is available for the end users it basically involves the uh, runtime manager and the other supporting services now there could be three possible ways to host uh, these particular uh, planes, right? First option is to use any point platform in Mule managed control plane and runtime plane. So both these are being managed by MuleSoft. Uh, there will be nothing on customer hosted side. Second option will be to host and manage the runtime plane within your own infrastructure while connecting it with the MuleSoft managed control plane. So runtime plane, all the application will be deployed on your bare metal servers whereas the control plane will be used by uh, will be managed by MuleSoft. okay so one of the common example could be uh, the hybrid or you can see the arm uh, model of uh, deployments the third option could be putting both onto the customer uh, managed side so you are maintaining control plane as well as the runtime plane as your standalone servers so these are the three possible things of hosting the control and the runtime planes we will be covering the three different uh, options we will be first uh, covering the control plane option then runtime plane options and finally a quick round of comparison between the two control plane hosting options so in the control plane uh, from where we can control majority of the features uh, it is basically uh, this particular table talks about the different features which are being available designer studio flow designer exchange community manager partner manager access management analytics api manager runtime manager monitoring secrets manager visualizer security edge policies tokenization cloud hub runtime runtime fabric and customer hosted and times so these are the cloud hub versions uh, you can say which are being on the public level uh, which are being exposed or available for the consumption this is for the private cloud edition and you can see this yes and no's which are being being marked now i need to change this color one second okay now so on a very high level most of the things when we are going to deploy in cloud hub in using our trial version it is going to use us e2 cloud hub uh, just to show you us e2 or even from the runtime manager us e2 cloud hub okay reason being because it will offer most of the things availability now coming to the uh, european union cloud Partner manager is not available at EU cloud. Similarly, it is not available for the uh, government cloud as well for now and not available on the PCE uh, version of it as well. 
again there are some more combinations which are available here and it is not available in the other options so when you are uh, deciding on which particular cloud basically it will depend on all the infrastructure level decisions but just to keep in mind there are something which are not available in each every uh, um, control plane uh, geography or the location uh, wise so just uh, have this thing in mind it will help you to understand the feasibility of the different features which are being available okay now i'm going towards the runtime plane hosting options within the runtime mule runtime engine mq object store and connectors so when we are on the cloud hub most of the things are being supported on runtime fabric mq and os object store are not being supported and same is in the case with uh, standalone as well so again just uh, as a um, suggestion just keep this thing in handy like uh, you have to manage some of the things accordingly if you are working it out on on your topology or the deployment architecture the last thing will be about the control plane the runtime plane so within us cloud all three options are available in european uh, union cloud all three are available but when we are talking in terms of government cloud runtime fabric is not yet being uh, published for government cloud so it's a no for them and for uh, private cloud edition it's only the stand alone runtime is available for time being but uh, as per my discussion with the, with the uh, the new releases the people who are working on it we are able we, we are anticipating like something will be done in these two parameters very soon so fingers crossed and this was uh, this particular video was uh, very specific and we it was being targeted for discussing the different hosting option in terms of control plane and runtime plane what are the different uh, cloud hub locations or the uh, the us and eu cloud uh, along with the government cloud which are being available at the time being and a very small comparison between the different combinations so I hope you like this video and thanks for watching.